Dear Nathan Oakley, I am still waiting for your hypothesis and methodology for determining the shape of the Earth. According to your daily rhetoric, to verify the shape of the Earth, you must be able to employ a method of measurement which conforms to scientific method, which must include an independent and dependent variable. It has now been over a year since I first challenged you to provide me with your own hypothesis and methodology for measuring the shape of the Earth. Recently, on MC Toon's channel, you were reminded of this, but you continue to be silent, refusing to meet the challenge. So, I'm making the challenge official, for everyone to see. Provide me with a written hypothesis and outline the full methodology you would employ to determine the shape of the Earth, which must include an independent and dependent variable in order to conform with the scientific method as outlined by you in your daily script. Your failure to answer will be considered an admission that you really don't understand the scientific method and you're just a charlatan making a mockery of your audience for the sake of financial gain. Now if you are a fan of Nathan Oakley and one of those people who run around repeating this same rhetoric in comments, then I would ask you to make this challenge known to Nathan. After all, you should fully expect to benefit from seeing him easily deal with the challenge and validate your belief in that rhetoric that you hold so dear. If you are not a flat earther, please share this challenge with Oakley and any channels associated with him and whoever you see repeating this mantra in the comments. Also Nathan, you commented on exploring the planes video the other day, questioning the use of mathematics. I tried repeatedly to respond to you, but it appears that that channel likes to censor comments. So in addition to the previous challenge, I have four more challenges related to that subject and your comments. Number one, describe in general the method for quantifying your experimental results without using math. Number two, specifically, describe how to accurately relay information on the internal pressure exerted upon the walls of a gas container of a given volume to a third party in order that they can independently verify your measurements by adhering to the scientific method without using math. Number three, describe the diffraction limit accurately without using math. And number four, describe the law of perspective for use as a replacement for curvature calculators in order to accurately determine bottom-up obstruction over a flat plane without using math. I look forward to hearing the answers to these challenges soon, Nathan. Chop chop.